Welcome back. So right now we have Git Tag version 07 and um, we have to consider now if you want to keep building inside the app component we want to start breaking into smaller units using other components. That's one of the things that make Angular very strong that we break things into minor components. So if you look at the page right now instead of having all of this together and keep building on this I'm going to grab this part on its own and make its own small component that can then show whatever I want to show inside a course component, right? So that's what I'm going to try and do now. I'm going to convert this p tag into its own component. So we want to start out by actually using an Angular command. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write um, ng g for generate, or you can also write generate, it's up to you, but g for generate, c for component, you can also write component, and then I'm going to write course. Now, if I do it here, that's going to create a course component in the root app. I don't want that. I want it to actually go into the courses folder right here and generate it. So I'm going to first go to the source folder, the app folder, the courses folder, like this. And then from here, I'm going to do the generate. ng generate component course, like this. Let's try and see what it does. Now, the, all the different commands you can do, you can find those inside the Angular CLI tool here. So if I zoom here, you can go into the Angular CLI on GitHub and you can actually go and watch all the different commands you can actually do to create different things like the class we just did, the interface we just did. You can do whatever you want here. So let's go back. Now we didn't change anything. We just got a new folder called course and then there we now have the same set of items as you can see down here, right? It's already created here for me. Very, very cool. Let's go to the app module. Another thing that happened is that the course component is now defined inside declarations inside the app module. Now I didn't talk about the app module before, so I think I'm going to dedicate the rest of this lesson for the app module because the app module is kind of the heart of the application. Right now the app module is where it, it all launches, right? So inside the app module we have to define what kind of component we build ourselves and what kind of components we import from other people who build them, or in this case Angular Core. There's something about providers when we start using services and there's who is going to launch this, who's going to bootstrap the application, and that's going to be the app component right now. This file will grow as we continue. Right now it's pretty simple to watch. And every time we do an ng command uh, using this ng generate co uh, component with the course, it'll automatically add this in here and add the import for us. But if you, for some reason, decide to delete this guy right here, or you decide to do this manually, which you can also do, it won't be added automatically and then you'll have to do it yourself. So the app module is kind of the place that tells you what should be loaded, what shouldn't be loaded, how should it work. That's kind of the heart of the application. But now you've created a component and you've actually, I've shown you a bit about the app module, at least that much that you want to know and learn right now. We can build our own modules. That's also something that's cool to know. We won't dive into that yet either. Let's end it here for now and next lesson we'll try and make that component into something we can actually use. See you in the next lesson.